South Sudan is a very young, very new country. It was already on the basis of a very complex and difficult humanitarian and developmental situation that this crisis and that this conflict erupted. We were already engaged with a very large operation, with a very large uh, budget, from food, to first aid, surgical team in hospital, engaged prior to the 15th of uh, December. And now we have really expanded uh, the volume of the uh, operation. As an example, we have five surgical teams, out of which four are flying to uh, the various uh, locations. We have done approximately 850 or 900 surgical intervention, bullet wounds and this type of, uh, of, uh, of uh, surgery. So when a team is, is coming, it's composed of a minimum four persons, surgeon, the anesthetist, the ward nurse, the OT nurse, so that makes the, the team and also the material that is given to the hospital to continue the treatment of uh, of this, uh, of this uh, patient. Also extremely important, massive, uh, the displacement of, uh, of population. We are speaking of 700,000, 800,000. Figures remains unclear. To address the needs of these displaced persons that left without anything, they had to leave within the hour uh, with, their, with their family and without any belonging. We are full in the emergency phase, but we already have to think about how we can bring and accompany the people uh, in the reconstruction phase. We will also, for the time of the raining season, pre-position food, non-food items, reconstruction uh, material and seeds, tools, so when the raining season comes that they can enter into the agricultural uh, uh, cycle hoping that the situation in terms of, of conflict will stay, uh, stay quiet. So here uh, I can uh, see already that it won't be a very short-lived crisis where we can have few quick fix and then it, it's settled. We are there to, uh, to, to stay and accompany South Sudanese uh, for, a long, for a longer period.